Many years ago, there was a young teenage boy who would come home from school and pull nameless tin cans out of a cupboard and prepare a meal for his older brother and little sister as their mom was busy working many hours just trying to better her young family. He would take an undeniable curiosity for matching ingredients and turn that into a passion for food and culture. He honed these growing talents with a top-name chef in Indianapolis, Indiana, and top-name chefs here in Atlanta, Georgia, before starting an underground supper club back in January of 2009 with his wife. I'm Jen. <clears throat> we wanted to open up a restaurant. That was our tiny dream. So my story starts in January of 2009 when we introduced Staple House. We had full-time jobs, but every single Sunday night, we would invite 10 strangers into our home and prepare a meal. Countless hours creating, building beautiful relationships. We hosted a couple of really large events out of our backyard and received a ton of great press. We toiled for almost four years, doing everything that we could to accomplish our goal, to open up this restaurant, but, after hitting brick wall after brick wall, from locations to funding. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Our unanticipated hardship, it was the end of the world, as the Mayans stated. It was December 21st of 2012, and Ryan was 35. He was diagnosed with stage four gallbladder cancer. 90% of his liver was engulfed with tumors and it had spread to his lungs. He had less than 5% chance at survival, and we were given six months for him to live. We had full insurance, but it would not cover everything. The dream staple house vanished. Then, bolt of lightning, a perspective change. We didn't want help, but help came to us and in masses with the help of business mentors and colleagues, friends, family, strangers, and an entire city. We were helped. We made a choice and accepted our future, whatever that might have been. The unsolicited response. In four weeks' time, an event called Team Heidi, short for our last name, Heidinger, was put on. It was amazing. A tidal wave of love, love fest, does not really quite describe what happened in that room that night. There was just under a thousand people that showed up to support us. It helped us with our financial needs and our medical battle. $275,000 was raised for one couple. <laughs> it was amazing to witness what a large group of people could do when they felt certain about something, felt purpose. And this no longer became about one man, and this was no longer about one couple. This was about a city who saw a need and wanted to make a change, a commitment, an action, this changed everything in everyone in our industry, and it changed the idea of Staple House. And an organization was formed, a nonprofit meant to take care of our own, introducing the Giving Kitchen Initiative. This was the beyond expectation outcome. The mission of the Giving Kitchen to help our own, to help members of the Atlanta restaurant community who are affected by any unanticipated hardship. This industry is leveraged every day, countless times, for amazing causes. Why not take care of our own? With industry partners, restaurants, funders, donors, and guests and patrons just like you all, a crisis account is building and we are ready to help those in need. Staple House could still become that intimate, casual, world-class, 
casual fine dining neighborhood joint that we always wanted, but it would now become a for-profit subsidiary of the Giving Kitchen Initiative, where our year-end proceeds in their entirety will help our own community. So where do we stand now? My husband, Ryan, passed away in January of this year, but his legacy and this dream are still very much alive. We close on our bank loan and move to building permit any day, and we anticipate a end-of-the-year opening in the old Fourth Ward neighborhood of Atlanta. And on behalf of my team and myself, I look forward to seeing you all there when we open. Thank you.